All right, look at that box, freaking looking beautiful. This okay view. I am leaving New York, going down to Florida. What's up, everybody? Welcome to CM Traveling Cars. Today, I'm traveling in my 2006 Scion XB, aka the box. I'm taking her down to Florida. So I don't know if you've seen the last video I did. I took this baby across the country to California. It was one hell of a road trip. The box did pretty good. So now I'm gonna take her down to Key West. I'm gonna just vlog the journey on the way down, stop at different spots here and there. I gotta meet with a buddy, drop off this deck lid, and just keep on going down. Uh, that's actually in Statesboro, Georgia. I've never been there, and actually I haven't seen my buddy in quite a few, quite a long time, so it's gonna be good to see him. And uh, right now I'm battling this check engine light. PO420, freaking stupid thing. I'm just gonna go and race this for now. Um, it actually came on yesterday, so fingers crossed that everything would be good to go. But first, I gotta fill the box up with some gas, but I had a problem leaving the parking lot. One drop, and I shoot up the car. <sighs> stupid. Pilot error, I had that freaking stupid ass curb over at the gas station. And instead of back and straight up then turning, I started turning in the parking spot. I started turning the wheel to the right and my freaking back bumper caught the damn curb. And I didn't even leave the freaking state yet. This is why when I go on road trips, I bring tools and my knife. And you can never forget about the zip ties. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny because when I got out of the car, because I actually dropped to some other spot and there was going to be a pain in the neck. So actually, when I got out of the car, I looked at the bumper and I got folded over. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? I didn't think it was that bad, but bumper's a bumper, it is what it is. Luckily, got my, I had my tool kit, and I figured just mended it up real quick, had to take a little splash of luck, do some zip ties on there, and freaking send it. After the setback, I finally reached Pennsylvania. tomorrow we're gonna have a major snowstorm upwards of a foot 10 inches or something so to keep my fingers crossed that I'm not gonna hit any snow in the mountains I stopped in Casey Illinois big town big things in a small town and everything big now I'm in Shippensburg Pennsylvania and right behind me is the world's largest paint can standing over 38 feet tall and can hold over 178 thousand gallons of paint I don't know about you, but I could paint a lot of Scions with 138,000 freaking gallons of paint. When I was a kid, we'd always travel down south, going down Interstate 81. Actually, back in the day, it was more of a lighter blue. They changed the color of it. But uh, every time I'm driving south, I see the big paint can. I'm like, oh, man, we almost out of Pennsylvania, then to Maryland. But that was always like a little memory or marker of almost leave in Pennsylvania because it takes forever to get through the state. Ooh, baby. Oh, real quick. The bumper. Two zip ties are still there, bumper's still good. Can't talk right now, it's freaking too cold right now. But also in Chippingsburg, a little bit before the paint can, on top of the structure is a complete semi truck. There it is. The big paint can, woo! We're almost out of Pennsylvania! Excited much? <laughs> All right. So I drove the remaining miles in Pennsylvania, then entered Maryland. Drove the 12 miles through Maryland, crossed over the Potomac River, into West Virginia. 
drove the 26 miles through West Virginia, then entered the state of Virginia. The next morning, driving through the mountains of Virginia, I came across a couple of viewpoints, so I had to stop to check them out. All right, just uh, stopped at the, some scenic overlook. Check out this view. After checking out those scenic overlooks, I continued driving, then entered Richmond, Virginia. Two reasons why I enjoy the Richmond. One, welcome to Japanese classics. JDM Heaven. We also do a lot of surfs and Hiluxes. Big thanks to the guys at Japanese Classics for having me look around at some of the cool cars. And look at this. Pretty soon she's gonna be a Japanese classic. And then two. Oh. <laughs> Two, two is very important. After stuffing uh. myself full of raisin canes, I continued driving south in Virginia. I passed a location called Skippers, then I finally reached North Carolina. And it poured. Check it out, we're almost uh, south of the border. Light at the end of the tunnel. Looks like the rain's finally letting up. You all know what that means. Nice. There it is. Made it to south of the border. And welcome to South Carolina. When you're driving down south, it's always good to see some palm trees. And it's always a tradition to stop at South Florida. After spending some time at south of the border, I continued driving in South Carolina, admiring the sunset, then ended up in the middle of nowhere. Bro, freaking middle of nowhere. Turns out I was on the Confederate Highway in Allendale County, South Carolina. The next morning, I left Allendale, South Carolina, continuing driving south, admiring the scenery. What scenery? Only scenery I see are trees. Then I made it to the Savannah River or crossed the New Burton's Ferry Bridge. That means I made it to Georgia. Continuing driving south, I made it to Statesboro. Had a great time in Statesboro. Nice little area in Georgia. Now, headed down south towards Daytona. 
Sometimes it's nice just getting off the interstate, getting on some back roads, and just check out the beauty of Georgia. Or whatever state you're driving. We have just entered Florida and so far the box is doing good. Bumper, zip ties, still doing good. Let's keep going down south. Getting back on the highway, I headed south towards Daytona Beach, passing through Jacksonville, Florida, until I realized, wow, Look at all these no parking signs. Um, clearly they don't want you to park there. Check it out! We made it to Daytona, baby! Welcome to Daytona Beach. Check it out. Friggin' Daytona International Speedway. You come down to Florida, you gotta at least check this place out. Um, I hear some race cars in there, so it seems like they're racing. Obviously you can't go inside right now because I think it's closed. And Good to see the box out in front of the most famous racetracks of them all. Daytona. <laughs> Leaving the speedway and the sunset behind me. Look at that sunset. It's a nice view from the rear view mirror. Crossing the Broadway Bridge, I entered the world's most famous beach. Daytona Beach, only to find out I can't drive on it because the beach was closed to motor vehicles. So let's just do a quick little walk down here and uh, check it out. Looks like the time is really high. Well, everybody, welcome to the world's most famous beach. Daytona. With Daytona in my rear view mirror and darkness settling in, I continue to drive towards Lake Okeechobee. Bro, you gotta get up for exit 129. Okeechobee. But first, a quick detour. Welcome to Yeehaw Junction! After Yeehaw Junction, I arrived at Florida's largest freshwater lake. Also the nation's 10th largest natural freshwater lake, Lake Okeechobee. That's Port Mayaka, Lock and Dam in the distance. Baby, look at that box. She looks pretty good crossing over Okeechobee Waterway. Uh -huh. yeah. Continuing south, admiring the beautiful Florida sunrise. Now that's something you don't see in New York. I came across these palm trees I need in life. I would love that in my backyard. Shortly after, look where we ended up. Homestead Miami Speedway. After 
after spending some time at the Homestead Miami Speedway, I hopped on the final highway of my trip, Highway 1. Entering the Florida Keys, I passed through Key Largo, Tavernier, Alamorada, and ended up at Robbie's of Alamorado. If you're driving out of Key West, you gotta go to Robbie's Marina to feed the tarpon. Look at all the money all around. Continuing on the overseas highway, I reached Marathon, which means driving over one of the coolest bridges and passing Pigeon Key here, Seven Mile Bridge. Driving over Seven Mile Bridge. Hey look, it's right the tree. You know, sometimes it's good just to get out of the car and go for a walk. So I'm walking on a little pathway here along Seven Mile Bridge. Passing Big Pine Key and crossing the final bridge, I made it to Key West!
just like that. The box got me down to Key West. It was one hell of an adventure. She did outstanding minus a little mishap with the bumper, but it is what it is. Mine is pure now. Really windy out here. Otherwise, it was one hell of a trip. Had a great time doing it. And no other way to send it off than this. Do the drive by because it's always so damn congested here. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video very soon. Peace.